It is 2022 and the coronavirus crisis is beginning to disappear thanks to vaccines. The world remains equal to itself and so does mankind. That's good, you are going to embody one of them. You are Bellanova, the Prime Minister of the USA. You are a woman of modest means born in New York City and grew up there and in your studies at university. You soon become involved in politics during your time at university and became someone people looked up to. 20 years ago you became a member of a popular political party and eventually rose to power as leader of the party. You became prime minister after your party won elections. The US has become the most powerful country in the world after the economic crisis and global warming forced other countries to become increasingly impoverished. You are going to decide the fate of the world. You are in your study, a beautiful and sunny day outside. You can almost feel the warmth of the sun. The telephone rings and you pick it up. Hello Prime Minister, I'm Victoria your press secretary. I'll be your assistant for the next four years. Thank you Victoria, tell me, what do you know about me? I know that you believe the world will come to an end in less than 100 years. And? And you know that you have the power to make history. I want to make the world a better place. Tell me something interesting, or controversial. Controversial. Okay, you want me to tell you something interesting. Well, you are going to launch nuclear missiles to destroy the world. What? Why am I going to do that? You and I answer to a higher boss, and it's part of his plan. Who's that? Your future son. You scream and you hang up the phone. You think it must be a joke. The phone rings again. Hi mom. A distorted voice sounds from the phone. Are you kidding? Is this a joke? No. I can't have children. I'm infertile. The voice said. I'll explain everything. For now, just pack some clothes and a toothbrush. The world is ending and you are going to survive. I love you, mom. What? No. That can't be. No. No. The phone hangs up in your hands you scream and you run out of the room. You want to call your best friend. But she is in Iran and you can't call anyone. The door rings. Come in. The door opens and you see a 17-year-old with a mix of facial features as your father and yours grandmother. He looks at you with his emerald. He smiles with a twisted smile. He says. Hi mom, let's go. To be continue in the next episode.